Hey guys, it's Disco Spider, and happy Hollow Tune. Today's episode comes from one of my favorite current cartoons, Regular Show. Yeah, if you do not know, the creator of Regular Show, J.G. Quintel, was a huge fan of The Simpsons when he was a kid. So this is kind of why the Halloween specials feel a lot like a Treehouse of Horror episode. Heck, even the name and how they use the Roman numerals numbers are very similar lore. So this year, we'll be talking about the first ever Regular Show half-hour special, Terror Tales of the Park. Um, so yeah, this episode is divided into three shorts. Uh, I think the first two are around five-ish minutes long, and the third one is 11 minutes long. And I'll be talking about them individually, so yeah. So the first show we have is called Creepy Doll. Weird things start happening to Pops after Mordecai and Rigby and Pops find one of Pops' old dolls that he used to play with as a kid, Percy. This short is meh. The villain of this short, called Percy, which is the doll, isn't the greatest villain. Um, his motive is just to mark people's faces with a marker, which I don't understand why. Is it like a reference to dolls or something? I don't really know, and he doesn't really seem like he's gonna you know, destroy the world or kill people, making him not that big of a threat. And it's not a great short, but... It is still enjoyable and fun, and it still has its regular show-ness to it, but out of the three shorts, this one would probably be my least favorite. I feel like this short would have been a lot better if Percy was a bigger threat. Maybe he tried to make Mordecai, Rigby, Pops, and other people in the park, you know, like dolls in a way, where, you know, he kinda plays with them in a non-sexual way. He, I don't know, kinda uses them as dolls, and, you know, plays tea time with them, something like that, and turns everyone in the world into a doll for him, since, you know, he is a doll and he wants revenge for being, uh, played with, I guess. Next, we have Death Metal Crash Pit. Uh, Muscle Man and High Five Ghost gets kidnapped by Ghost Rock Band. This short is way better than the first one, since there is actually jokes in this one. Um, I didn't laugh at all in the you know, creepy doll one but for this one I actually did laugh quite a few times I really like the song that the rock band people ghost thingies play um, it just makes no sense but yet yeah, still funny um, I also like how muscle man finds a like a what was it called a cinder block and instead of throwing it out the window so he can escape he just throws it on the pedal to make the uh, uh, car or the uh, was it trailer? Just go to the crash pit, which I, th I thought was really funny. Then finally, we have in the house. Rigby gets cursed after egging a uh, wizard's house. This one is definitely my favorite. It has everything: uh, creepiness, comedy, and even going so far to I wouldn't even expect them to do this in a kids' cartoon, but to kill off the characters, and not just like side characters, but the main characters. Like Mordecai gets his head sliced off. Um, it's really weird, but yet it does work for the story in a way. Plus, we do get to see the insides, the insides of Muscle Man, which they don't go into detail, which is good. Um, it's really disturbing, but it's not something that you would throw up on, unless you don't like seeing people's insides even to the tiniest bit. Then. Yeah. The plot of Rigby turning into a house doesn't really sound that creepy, but there are really creepy scenes in this episode, like um, when Mordecai tries to apologize to the wizard and tries to go to his house, and that scene with the cat, man, that was creepy. And to make a good episode even better, there are a ton of jokes here, like the beginning scene with Mordor and Riggs trick-or-treating has a lot of comedy there, and like even the end when all the characters die, there, there is some comedy there. It's like, you know, Muscle Man making a, a one-liner when he gets his insides turned out. And then uh, Mordecai doing a little one-liner as well when he gets his head chopped off. His head, you know, there's no blood in any of the deaths, but it's really creepy. But yet, in a way, kind of funny. So all in all, I do like this episode. Um, the first 11 minutes, the first two shorts were meh. But uh, the last 11 minutes really saved the episode. Um, I would definitely recommend this episode to watch on Halloween. Um, I might just, you know, skip the first two episodes, or the first two shorts, and definitely watch In the House, which is an amazing episode. And even if it wasn't part of the 
Terror Tales of the Park, the Halloween special, it would probably be around, you know, my 20, maybe even 10, top 10 favorite regular show episodes. It's just really awesome. Um, so, yeah, I'm the Disney Spider, and happy Hollow Tune.